You know, it started 10 years ago. I launched an online course for coaches. And the day after we launched it, I got uh, someone subscribed from Mongolia. And that was back in 2013. That started a relationship. We went our first time in 2015 with the film crew and just were just blown away by how welcomed we were there, but also by the state of the game. It was like going back 80, 90 years in, in Canada. So the closest hockey shop is 13 hour train ride in Siberia. So no one's getting it, right? You send a pair of skates, three or four kids will share that pair of skates. You've created three or four hockey players with that one set. And there's hundreds of pairs of skates in here right now. I mean, it, it's just, it, it has brought a tear to our eye many times. It's just such an honor to be able to impact the game and kids and fam more importantly, kids and families in this country that I never, never thought of bringing hockey to. I mean, that, that was, the game has taken me all over the world, but I hadn't thought of this one. And now to see it all happening, it's amazing. We have images of being in, in um, Bugant in northern Mongolia, near the Siberian border, 90 kids on the ice and five of them in hockey gear. And we went back four years later and we arrived there and they've got lights on the rink and they've got a tournament going with hundreds of kids in gear, all Vancouver jerseys. If you ever wonder if your contribution to a small initiative matters, I mean, those scenes, it would just blow your mind. The answer is yes.